Hey guys, it's Josh, the 9 Know It All, coming to you today to kind of talk about really a different type of series that I want to do here on the, the YouTube channel. Uh, on our Facebook page, we do the What Baseball Means to Me, and here on the YouTube channel, I want to do kind of a series on my baseball memories, things that I have uh, experienced and love about the game, things that really have been key moments that have made me fall in love with uh, the sport of baseball. So. Before we get into that, guys, if you take one second and hammer the like button down below, that helps out. And also, hey, leave a comment of your favorite baseball memories, uh, players you've met, things you've done, that type of stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I got a lot of stuff like this coming out. Go and try and do some weekly news updates on uh, trades, possible trades, different rumors, that type of stuff. But also just talking baseball in general. So. A lot of fun, doing a lot of things, seeing a lot of new subscribers this week. It's been awesome to see that. Been really encouraging. You know, baseball season hasn't even started yet, and yet we're we're seeing growth and movement, and hey, I'm having fun doing it. So, guys, today, for my first memory that I'm going to share is actually one that's kind of near and dear to my heart. It's actually the memory that probably is the most predominant memory I have for baseball and why I love the game. Now, I grew up uh, in a family where my dad played softball. I started playing t-ball when I was like four or five. You know, played it, you know, all throughout school. Loved the game. Went to Mariner games probably, man, handful of games every year. Just, I did a lot of baseball and softball stuff all year long. It's something that I loved. But there was a moment when I was, I believe I was 11 years old, somewhere around that time frame, um, my dad took me to a game, a Mariners game. It was the first time really that he and I had gone to a game, just us, not the whole family, because Seattle's two and a half hours away. So it's not like it's just a quick jump on the road to get there and come back. It's a little bit of a drive. So usually it's the whole family that, that went. But this time it was just my dad and I, and he let me choose when we went. And I chose to go really early. I wanted to get up there and see if we could maybe get an autograph. Um, no, it was just a... A pipe dream of a kid to maybe get an autograph. I had a couple cards, I think, but really all I had with me was one or two programs, my baseball mitt that I was still using at the time, and, and that's really all I had. We didn't bring a camera. We brought a purple pen that wasn't even a Sharpie. It was a weird thing, and we had a regular pen with us, so that's what we had. We got there, didn't know really where to go, kind of walked around the kingdom because that's where the Mariners played at the time, back when I was a kid. And someone directed us to a spot uh, over in the parking lot where the players would park and then walk through. And so, cool, we went over there. We, we stood there, and uh, a couple players came, and, you know, they kind of said hi and walked through. A couple players were a little grumpy and wouldn't even say hi. They just walked through and, and ignored me and my dad. And uh, there was one other kid there getting autographs, really just three of us. And then all of a sudden, this vehicle comes flying into the parking lot. And it was just moving and grooving. And, and you know, the parking lot was empty. So they were, whoever was driving was having fun. And the staff member who was there started laughing. And we were like, well, what, what's so funny? He goes, see that car? That's Ken Griffey Sr.'s car. And you know who's driving it? Ken Griffey Jr. And he was just laughing because he could tell when Junior was driving his dad's car. Uh, and so here come Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey Sr. They come driving in together. And for me, obviously, as a kid, Ken Griffey Jr. was, he was it. He was the ball player of my childhood. For my dad, though, Ken Griffey Sr. was important to him because he actually got to see Ken Griffey Sr. his rookie season in Cincinnati. And at, we didn't bring it with us, but he actually had a program uh, from Griffey Sr.'s rookie season. So, once again, we didn't bring a lot of stuff. We didn't think it out. Wish we would have. Uh, but I was a kid. It was our first time really doing this. But Griffey Jr. and Griffey Sr. come walking in, and we asked for autographs. I mean, hey, it's Griffey and Griffey. And they stopped. And they signed stuff for us. And then they started talking with us. And my dad started talking with Sr. He said hi to Junior, but he was really talking to Senior because, you know, that's who he had seen, you know, when he was younger, seen as a ball player for years. And they started interacting. 
So Junior, just staying there, starts talking with me, starts asking me questions and started talking. And for 25, 30 minutes, King Griffey Jr. and King Griffey Sr. just talked with us. Now, they signed a few things. In fact, this is one of the things that got signed. I don't know if you can see the autographs. Uh, juniors there, seniors down there. Uh, I got a couple other Mariners guys inside there. There's a few other guys I got inside the kingdom that signed. A few other guys that walked through as well. Um, I have a baseball glove, my baseball glove that I was still using. I was in the middle of a season, was using that glove, got it autographed. I got a new glove the next day. It was nice. Uh, but it's just one of those things where, you know, here it is. You got, you know, this opportunity and they're just talking talking about what foot they kick with, what other sports they play, just just random, normal chit-chat, and it made my day. Made my day. And not only that, but I can honestly tell you, I cheer for the Mariners, not because they're good, not because I'm a local. Those do play into it, except they're not good, haven't been good for a long time. But I cheer for the Mariners because that moment, that time in my life, where a Mariner player, a star Mariner player, a Hall of Fame Mariner player took the time to talk with me. That's it. And yes, I got autographs, but man, even to this day, my dad and I still talk about that. My dad has actually um, submitted this story from his perspective to the local newspaper and won awards for it and stuff like that. I've had the story on my blog post and it just, this is something that I will always remember uh, it's a great memory, and it's why I fell in love with baseball on a whole new level when I was a kid. Changed everything for me. Really did. Changed my love for the game in unique ways. So, you know, I know we all have those memories. I know we all have those moments. You know, this is the first of, of many videos I plan on making. I've actually got a, a stack of other things next to me uh, for, for videos I'm going to make as well when this one's done. But yeah, meeting King Griffey Jr., meeting King Griffey Sr., I met Harold Reynolds that same day, uh, just a number of Mariner guys, and it was just, you know, it, it's something that's stuck in my head. I'm, I, I turn 40 next year, so uh, February of 2021, I turned 40, and yet I still remember this time as a kid and how it impacted me and how it grew me. And that's why I love the game of baseball. Baseball can do this to people. Baseball can be just a beacon of, of hope and light and joy if that's what we make it to be. So guys, that's one of the reasons why I grow the game, why this game is important to me and why I'm passionate about it. Now, once again, leave a comment down below with memories you have. Tell me something. And if you want to, write a story about it and email it to me. Include a couple of pictures and I'll put it on the, on the site. I'll put it on the site talking about memories of baseball. Uh, you can write one of the, the articles we have about what baseball means to me, that too. We're always open for guest writers, always looking for more stories like this. If you have one, share it. Share it. Let people hear about how baseball has impacted you. So, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know-It-All. Thank you for taking the time to listen to one of my stories, something that's mean, meant a lot to me. And, guys, I will catch you later on. Have a good day. And baseball season is right around the corner.